What do you find most fulfilling about working in game capture? It's probably a little bit of an adrenaline kick, if I'm absolutely honest. There's something very primal about catching an animal, that, particularly an animal that is perfectly capable of killing you. Yeah, um, so this is not a squirrel. Not a squirrel, although <laughs> my worst injury ever has been from a squirrel. <laughs> so, so far, I've been lucky with the lions. How many lions have you captured? Um, probably between 100 and 200. And your worst injury to date has been with a squirrel? Yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> so never underestimate squirrels is the moral to that story. But the, when you're getting close to a lion, in order to, with capture, I think what I really enjoy is, uh, is thinking one step ahead of the animal. And so in a way, it's, a, it's like hunting, but at the end of the day, you're not going to kill the animal. You're, you're going to capture it and you're going to do something that hopefully is going to benefit conservation in the long run. Yeah. Um, so you have an excuse, really, to hunt. Um, and obviously, the animal doesn't particularly like being caught. But if it's for a purpose that's going to further conservation, then, then there, there's a justification for it. Um, then um, you, you get that experience. And for me, outwitting a lion, although everybody says a dumb blonde of the Svana, so maybe that's not such a great, great thing to claim. But um, basically, you know, having to think how it's going to react, where it's going to be, what the best way of tricking it is, um, and, and then getting your hands on it. I mean, getting your hands on a living, breathing lion is always a huge thrill. And although I've done it many times, um, that you never lose that. And of course, you capture one. You've got all the others because they're in a pride. Um, and that's always a thrill because you're out there working on the one that's down and you've got all the others around. Um, and so you have to be very, very, very highly focused in the moment. And I think there's very few places, times in life when you're really 100% focused in the moment. Um, we're always thinking about what we were doing, what we had for breakfast, whether we left the gas switched on or what, or what we're gonna be doing. We're very rarely um, living absolutely 100% in the moment. And that's one of the things I really like about doing something that's potentially very dangerous. Um, and that, that, it's a nice experience doing that. <laughs>